I want to welcome you to week two and day four of learning to share Christ with those people that you love and that you care about so much during this Christmas season. Today we're going to be talking about the power of speaking the word. The Bible talks about believing in your heart, but also speaking what Christ has done for you. And this Christmas season is a great time to do that. So let's go now to our training on how to share Christ with others. We've been talking this week about sharing your testimony with others and telling them what Jesus has done for you. If you've come to know Christ, you have a story to tell. I want to talk to you about why it's important. The Bible says, believe in your heart that God has raised Jesus from the dead and confess with your mouth that he is the Lord and you shall be saved. If you want to be delivered, if you want to know freedom in Christ, there are two parts of it. First of all, believing in your heart that Jesus Christ truly is the Son of God, that he's no ordinary person, that he's all God and all man, the Son of the living God, that he died for you, that he was buried in a borrowed tomb, and God raised him from the dead on the third day. When you believe that with your heart, your life will be transformed. But then you confess with your mouth. You tell others that he is the Lord. And you begin to engage others. There's something about not being ashamed. The Apostle Paul said, I am not ashamed of the gospel of Christ, for it is the power of God unto salvation to everyone who believes first to the Jew and also to the Greek, to everyone. It is, it is the power of God, no matter who the person is. So we need to be willing to share. Now, here's what's important. We have people that we love, we, we, people that we care about, that we know that God loves. God loves them more than we love them. So we pray for them. And we've been talking about that over the past couple of weeks. You begin to pray for those people. Ask God to touch them. Ask God to bring circumstances into their lives. Ask God to bring people into their lives whom you'll, you'll be able to, to, to share Christ with them and show them their need of Jesus. And then just sit down with them. Don't embarrass people. Don't try to belittle people, but sit down with people and in, in a kind and gracious way, perhaps uh, have tea or, or coffee with them and, and just sit down and, and, and just say, I, I want to share with you what has happened in my life. And as you do that, God will take it and use it. The other day I was out and I was in a particular place and a man came up and, and he was smoking and he was doing all of these things and kind of loud. And instead of being mad and angry with him and trying to say, hey, stop that, I just was calmly walked over to him and I said, God bless you. And he kind of looked at me and I said, you know, let me tell you what happened to me. And I began to share with him my testimony and all of a sudden you could see his countenance changed and everything changed about him. And I began to engage him and I shared my story with him of how Christ changed my life. Now, he did not give his heart to Christ, but when I left, he said to me, thank you for sharing that. That means so much to me. So, so begin to just pray. Ask God to lead you to someone, to give you someone, and then you sit down in a private setting, a private situation, and share with them what God has done in your life. And, and, and just tell them the story. You, they may have questions. You don't have to have the answers. Tell them, hey, I'm new at this. I, I don't know all the answers, but I know what happened to me, and you share your story with them.